These pencil pines are basically living fossils. They are plants that are restricted to Tasmania and if we were to lose them, we'd, get, we'd lose something really important to Tasmania. In 2016, the world got a wake up call that places that aren't meant to burn were burning. The Tasmanian government supported a restoration research program to determine whether or not it was possible to replace the fire killed pencil pines. Pencil pines are Tasmanian endemic, meaning that they naturally grow in, in Tasmania only, nowhere else in the world. They're very slow growing and they grow very old. Quite big areas of, of pencil pines were destroyed in the 2016 fires. We're talking about plants that were over 500 years old, maybe up to a thousand years old, that were burned in the fires and they don't regenerate after fire, so they're gone. Habitat Plants was engaged in growing pencil pines for UTAS for a research project. We wanted to know where there were areas with pencil pines that had been fire killed, whether we could put them back, whether they would survive and uh, thrive, and what we could do to make certain that we got the maximum growth and the maximum survival of pencil pines that we grew in a nursery. It's really leading edge work. It's different to a way of thinking about a wilderness. The idea that nature would just look after itself. This is very much nature needs help and a doing organisation like the Hydro is an awesome part of biodiversity conservation. We manage over 120,000 hectares of land across the state. We have 30 degraded sites within the World Heritage Area that we want to rehabilitate before 2030. So we have a program called Regenerate. This pencil pine planting today is also part of the Regenerate program. We decided to plant them um, here in our rehabilitation sites that we've been progressively improving over the last few years. A lot of the other vegetation up here is growing back quite nicely, but the pencil pines have just died off. They've had no chance at recovery. It's very exciting being up here and doing restoration with pencil pines is, is a very rare thing with gondwana and species. As a horticulturist and as a passionate Tasmanian, I, I think this is a fantastic project and I'm really glad that uh, Hydro stepped up and is doing it. If we lose big areas of pencil pines, we're losing, the whole planet is losing something special.